Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is to talk to you about two different types of proof. Proof by exhaustion and proof by deduction. And for proof by exhaustion, I've got this example here, where we've got to show that the difference of two consecutive square numbers between 25 and 100 are odd. Now, with this, we can actually show what those square numbers are. We've got 5 squared, we know is 25, but 6 squared, which is 36, and 7 squared, which is 49, 8 squared, 64, 9 squared, which is 81. They're the square numbers that are between 25 and 100. So, very containable. We can actually exhaust all the possibilities that there are, hence the name Proof by Exhaustion. Now, all we need to do is subtract consecutive square numbers. So if we do 7 squared minus 6 squared, for instance, and all the other ones, you can see that 7 squared minus 6 squared gives us 13, and then we get 8 squared minus 7 squared is 15, and 9 squared minus 8 squared is 17. All three of these answers are odd. So we've exhausted, as I say, all the possibilities. And we can summarise this by saying that the difference of two consecutive square numbers between 25 and 100 are odd. Always make sure you put in a conclusion at the end of your proof. Do not leave your answer at this stage here. Okay? Tell the reader that you've actually realised what you're doing and that you can see, in this case, all your answers are odd. Now, let's have a look at proof by deduction. And what I've got here is a similar question, where we've got to show that the difference of two consecutive square numbers is always odd. So, unlike this example over here, though, where we could write down all the numbers, the square numbers, that is, between 25 and 100, we could exhaust the question, if you like. What we've got here is we can't hope to write down all the square numbers. So we've got to tackle this in a different way. And the way we do it is by an algebraic method. So if we started off something like this, where we've got the proof, let the numbers be n and n plus 1, where n is a positive integer. So taking the bigger of the two numbers, which has clearly got to be n plus 1, what we can do is we can square that, so that's all of n plus 1 squared, and then we would subtract the n here, so and then we'll square it. And remember to put the identical sign here. Now if we expand n plus 1 all squared, we're going to get n squared plus 2n, and then plus 1. And then we've got to subtract n squared. So if we simplify this now, group up our terms, the n squareds cancel, and let, we're left with 2n plus 1. And can you see that if I double any positive integer, 2n, it's going to be an even number. And then if I add 1 to that even number, it's going to be an odd number. So you'd write a statement in like that. Say, since 2n is even, 2n plus 1 is odd. And then you write in your conclusion, and so the difference of two consecutive square numbers is always odd. So I hope that's given you an idea then, with just these couple of examples, what I mean by proof by exhaustion and proof by deduction. So thanks for listening and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.